Welcome to the 2020 Emerson Waldorf High School Open House Tour. The high school is composed of these buildings in the surrounding areas. This right here is the Brown Wing, which was named in honor of C.W. Brown. This is the new building, which is where we will start our tour. Here in the new building, we have three rooms. We have this multi-use room, which most of our rooms are like this, with a few exceptions. They are rooms that aren't dedicated to a particular teacher, subject, or class, and can be used by anyone for any class that needs it. The few exceptions to this are the art room and the lab, which we'll talk about further along in the tour. Next to this room, we have the Lamb Library, and although it names, implies otherwise, it is also a multi-use room. The high school's library isn't in one room. It is spread across multiple rooms between the main building and the new building. Right next to the Lamb Library, we have the Humanities Office. Our humanities teachers are Mr. McLean and Ms. Cordes. Now, we move from the new building right across to the Brown Wing. The Brown Wing has many uses for several parts of our community. Our Eurythmy program is held in the Brown Wing, led by Ms. Abbott. The Brown Wing is also a space for the community to hold adult classes from time to time. And we also hold high school assemblies there. And we also host guest speakers here. And last but definitely not least, the Brown Wing houses high school drama program. We have a lighting system set up on the ceiling of the Brown Wing that we used to provide special effects to the sophomore and senior place each year. At the moment, we're not able to enter the Brown Wing due to it being the temporary third grade classroom for COVID cohorts. Now we move on to the main building. As we enter, we will be able to see two offices. This is Ms. Nicholson's office, our high school coordinator. She is not here at the moment. Now we head into the Richards room, otherwise known as the art room. This room is most commonly used for art classes, but when there is no art class in session, this room acts as another multi-use room. Ms. Guinan is our head of the art department. From the art room, we move into the Emerson room, another of our multi-use rooms. As I mentioned earlier, a good portion of our school's library is spread out between the new building and this room. As you can see, we have most of our shelves here. At the moment, this room houses a lot of our physics equipment. Our math and physics teachers are Mr. Ford and Mr. Dicker. Now, from the Emerson room, we head out to the hallway, right across the art room to the lab here. The lab is divided into two sections. The classroom portion with desks and the white and black boards, and the actual lab section. Dr. Reyes is head of the science department. Now, we will exit the lab and continue the tour to show a little bit of what we have in the school grounds. As we exit the lab, to the right, we have the entrance to some more teacher offices and the printer room. Now, we will head out through the back towards the Hinoki Theater. The Hinoki Theater, although located in the high school area, is mainly used by the lower and middle school for their plays. The Hinoki is designed to amplify the sound on stage so the whole audience is able to hear. The Hinoki was also recently remodeled. Now we head to the basketball court. While we're on our way there, I will talk a little bit about our language program. From 9th grade through to 11th grade, we have a Spanish course that builds upon itself, creating a deeper understanding of language as you progress through the high school. We're now at the basketball court. Unfortunately, due to COVID cohorts, 11th grade has a tent set up here with a blackboard and some tables. But normally, the basketball court is here completely free of any obstructions, such as an outdoor classroom, for high school student use. Mr. Brown is head of the physical education department and coordinator of extracurricular sports. Now we head to our final destination on the tour. Our campus has 54 acres of land. And the high school community learns from and learns to coexist with. This right here is called the Fairy Meadow. It is one of the places on campus that the whole EWS community shares and enjoys. It is also where we will end today's tour. Thank you for joining us in the 2020 EWS High School Open House Tour.